Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for pressing play on this video. My name is Jenny Hanson Lane and I have been documenting my journey for KDP for the past year. My best-selling book just turned one but also got blocked on Amazon so I have been doing more due diligence, reading the terms and conditions, really getting into the nitty-gritty of what's going on, uh, learning so much about copyright and trademark and figuring out really like offense is the best defense and figuring out ways to protect my books, but always stay compliant. And some things you might do that you don't know about, but it's still on you because when you sign up for a KDP account, you agree to the terms and conditions and you agree to the content guidelines and inside of there everything's not very not everything is really clear there is things that you have to make sure that you're being safe about and so it's really a matter of being on being 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 on the side of um overly protective of your books. And the best way to do that is to steer clear completely of, you know, breaking the rules. And you heard me share a story about truck drivers that uh, a truck, truck driving company that was hiring truck drivers. And he asked three different guys, you know, that there is a spot on this terrain on this route that's dangerous, but where it's by a cliff and how close do you think you can get to the cliff and remain safe? And the first guy was like, oh yeah, I could be right on the edge, baby. And the next guy was like, oh, I'd be pretty close. And the last guy was like, I do not want to even be over there. I want to be as close to the inside as possible. I want to be safe as possible. And that's kind of my 2023 with KDP to build my account back up it is in good i mean it is reinstated so i'm just making sure that i'm that third truck driver in the back staying really close making sure that i'm being the best to protect my account and so here are essentially are the best practices or the five tips to protect your account the most important thing that i've learned from my experience is prompt communication with kdp letting them know you receive the email you appreciate it you'll get them the information or documentation that they need as soon as possible don't ignore these emails it will not help at all second thing is bring your receipts like if you have licenses for books they're asking about send that immediately with your prompt communication a best practice for this is um when you download something from Creative Fabrica, download, take a copy, put the license key in the same folder that you're saving your interior and your cover. So when that book gets pulled up and KDP wants more information, you can go straight to it and pull it up. Now, it's also important to familiarize yourself with the licensing key uh, validator in Creative Fabrica, if that's where you're pulling your content from, you simply go to your history and pull up your key. And then at the bottom of Creative Fabrica, you can you can validate the license and, and copy it that way too. But I'm like, you know, let's copy it right when you do it. So not, everything's active. It's a lot. If you stop your subscription with uh, Creative Fabrica, then you need to pull your items off of KDP because you don't have a current license for it. So keeping the receipts, bring the receipts, making sure you have permission. Um, I've also been reading a lot about Canva guidelines because Canva does supply photos and they supply them from multiple places, but there's two suppliers, which is Bixabay, Bixaby and Unsplash. You need to go look up their terms and conditions to understand how you can put their images on books and sell. Um, and anything else is under their Creative Commons license. So you need to look up that on Canva. The most important thing, this actually should be number one, is reviewing the terms and conditions often to make sure that you're you're not that truck that's on the edge. It's like, yeah, I copied all these people. This is so cool. No, not cool, right? Educate yourself on copyright laws. This is where I'm at right now. This is the majority of my studying online, on the trademark website, 
on YouTube from attorneys. I'm trying to learn all the things to make sure I can protect my work because it's not just about avoiding trademarks and copyrights, but it's about protecting your work too. And I am going to talk a lot more about this, but I'm right in the middle of it and it's not a scar, it's a wound. And so it's going to take time for me to create the videos for me to explain to you how to learn from my mistakes uh, or just things that I didn't even know. You don't know what you don't know. And even after reviewing terms and conditions, there's still things that you might not learn. And the past three weeks have been serious growth for me and just like trying to gain the most information to follow the rules the best and stay away from the edge because the most important thing that I've come out of this is like creating original content. If it's all your content, you have nothing to worry about. And uh, this means, you know, if you're hiring people out, you have those contracts in place uh, with those NDAs, so they're not sharing it. But if you, I mean, I'm a creative person. My background's in art. When I was in college, I made books by my hand. You know, I cut out the paper. I used the thread with the bizwax. I did Japanese bindings. I, I printed the pages on a letterpress. Like, I've been doing wedding photography. Like, I have all the skills that I need to make original content. So there's really no reason for me not to do it. Um, also, when you're creating original content on Canva, you can use their templates, but you need to change them enough to make them original. And so sometimes when I'm created in Canva, I end up almost taking away almost everything but the foundation. So it is very clear that it is original content. So also, if you are creating logos on Canva, you cannot trademark those. Learn that this week. Not because I tried, but because I read the terms and conditions, okay? So these are just some of the tips, you know, without these five things of talking to KDP, having your licenses and your receipts saved, reviewing the conditions and terms often, and the content guidelines, educating yourself and creating original content, then you're left somewhat vulnerable and it's not a comfortable place to be. So I hope these five tips help you guys. I hope you have a rockin' 2023. Love you guys. Peace out.